What up, guys? The Bench Buddies are back with my college basketball week two top 25. We had a lot of teams changing in this week's rankings because of some upsets and some teams playing some close games. But before we get into it, subscribe down below to be entered in my giveaway at 500 subscribers. Dropping from my preseason rankings are the Wisconsin Badgers, San Diego State Aztecs, and SMC, the Gales. And the Gales, I thought, would stay around because, you know, they're normally good in the Western Coast Conference. But this year, doesn't look like it's going to be the case. I know it's early, so they could get their way back into it. But right now, these three teams fell out. The only one that stays is Wisconsin and the others receiving votes. And you have other teams like St. John's, UCLA, Virginia, and BYU. But unfortunately, I'm making this Tuesday, and St. John's already lost to Michigan last night. So they're probably going to be kicked out of that. But these are the teams that were just close on missing out on the rankings. And then 25 through 21, you see all the teams here. Memphis, Colorado, and James Madison are the three that jump in replacing the previous three, and then Bama and Illinois move up as well. And the most impressive win is James Madison getting that three-point win at Michigan State in overtime. Then they go on the road to Kent State, win in double overtime, and then come back home and close out Howard by 21. And this week they get to chill a little bit, have one game against Radford. And then you have Illinois having Marquette at home in the Gavit tip-off games. That'll be a great game. And, you know, if Illinois wins that game, you might be looking at a top 10 team at this point next week. But all these teams deserve their credit. 20 through 16. And this is where you find Michigan State, who fell out of the top five because of that loss to James Madison. But they responded well with that win over Southern Indiana. And now they get duped tonight in the tip off in Madison Square Garden. And if they can win that game, you know, they're going to jump right back into the top 10. But if they lose that, then it might be time to not panic, but, you know, have some big question marks for Michigan State. We have other teams. They're all staying the same from their preseason. The Aggies, Tar Heels, Wildcats, and Bears. They all took care of business last week. And the biggest win for Baylor and Texas A&M, they actually played some good Division One schools. Baylor beat Auburn by six, and Texas A&M beat Ohio State on the road by seven. Then 11 through 15, these are the teams that just missed out on the top 10. And all these teams are... Moving up one, except Miami, they're unfortunately, or it should, should, sorry, it should say 15 for this rank, not 17. And they're all moving up one here because of the fall of Michigan State. But they all took care of business, didn't really have any tough teams. I guess Miami played UCF, one of the well-known teams. But this week, kind of the same thing. Texas goes out on the road to play Louisville, but they're struggling right now. And then Kentucky has number one Kansas in what should be a good game tonight. And then even Miami, they have two tougher games. I mean, FIU is an easy game, but going on the road at Georgia, which I think could be a surprise team this year, that's going to be a tough game. And then the top 10 through six, Tennessee took care of business at Wisconsin, who I had in my preseason top 25. And it wasn't an effortless win, but the 10-point win does show that this team is legit. And then you have Creighton, FAU, Marquette, and then Duke, who fell out of the top five because of their loss at Ari or the loss to Arizona at home. And this week, they get Michigan State tonight. If they can win that, they're probably back in the top five. And then if Marquette, if they can win and beat Illinois, then they're going to be a top five team as well. And looking at my top five, UConn, Houston, and especially Arizona, and even Purdue all move up. Kansas stays at number one after taking care of business. And now they get Kentucky in a tough game. And Purdue already took care of business with Xavier last night, so they're now 3-0. And then Arizona should win these next three, move to 5-0, and a very dominant start for them. But that's going to be it for my video this week. Make sure you guys check back next week when I'm not as sick, and it'll be a longer video. But until the next time, the Bench Buddies are out. Mm -hmm.